In this video, we'll learn to calculate percentages of quantities, including simple percentage increases and decreases by 5% and multiples thereof. We use percentages and we work out percentages in our everyday lives. Maybe when it comes to sales, price increase, price decrease, but maybe we're not aware that we're doing it. So what we'll focus in this video is on how to work out 10%, 5%, 15% and then increases by these amounts. So the amount that I've picked is 500. This could be 500 pounds, 500 meters, 500 liters. So it could be anything really. It's a quantity. I will work out 10% of 500 first. So as you can see, there is a bar next to 500. So this whole bar represents 500. We have zero here and 500 here. So I want to find 10% of this. I've intentionally split this bar into 10 equal parts. So if this whole bar is equal to 100%, the total amount, how many percent will be represented by each of these divisions, by each of these parts? So there are 10 of them. So that means that there will be 10% in each of these. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, hundred percent. So this is equal to 10%. Now this represents 10% of the bar but also 10% of the amount. So this is 500. 10% will be a tenth of 500. So I need to divide the 500 by 10 as well, just like I did with the bar. So 100 divided by 10 give me 10. 500 divided by 10 gives me 50. So that means that I'd have 50 here. 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%. 60, 70, 80, 90%. So this will go 50, 100, 150, and so on. So that's the same pattern, adding 50 each time. But I don't need to continue this because all I need is to work out 10% of 500, and I've worked that out, which is 50. So what I did was divided 500 by 10. Now I'll work out 5% of 500. If we look at the next bar, so this is 10%. 5%. What part of 10 is 5? It is actually half of it. So I'll need to cut 10 into two equal parts. So this would be 5%. So it's half of the 10. And if 10% was equal to 50, then 5% must be half of it, which is 25. So by having 10% already, all I did is half the 50 and get 25. So 5% of 500 is 25. How about 15%? Let's have a look at the bar. Where is that positioned? So here is 10%. There is 20. 15 must be between 10 and 20. So it's got to be here, right in the middle, between 10 and 20. So this is 15. Now we said 10% was 50 and 5% and was 25. So all together, the 10 and the 5 makes 15. So the 50 and the 25 makes 75.
So at this point, I'd have 75. So 15% of 500 is 75. So if you wanted to work out, let's say 1% of 500, then compare it to this, that's 10%. So 1% is gonna be 10 times smaller. So I can pick that 50, divide it by 10, and it gives me five. Or I could go, how many 1% fit in a 100%? And that is a hundred of them. So I must divide 500 by 100, which gives me five again. So that's another way of working it out. And let's say I want to work out 16%. So 1% was five. 15% is 75, so to find 16%, I add 15 and the 1, so 75 and the 5 gives me 80. I will also show you a calculator method to work this out. So 10% we've said means 10 out of 100, because percent means out of 100. So 10% I'll write as 10... So 10 out of or divided by 100 because it means the same thing equals 1 tenth or 0 0.1 and we know that because it's like money 10 percent is like 10 pence in a pound and that's how I would write 10 pence in a pound so there I've got it then times 500 the whole amount times 500 and that gives me gives me 50 let's do the same here so 5 out of 100 that is 0 0.05 again like 5 pence times 500 because off means times so that is 25, which is the answer we had. And let's say 15%. So 15 out of 100 times 500. That gives me 75. So I can work out any amount, really. Um, let's say 17%. So 17 out of 100. Um, times by 500 so that gave me 85 which is 17 percent of 500 so the shorter way to work it out would be so that's 10 percent which i can write as 0 0.1 0 0.1 times 500 that gives me 50 and the same thing five percent like five pounds are at 0 0.1 Zero 0.05 times 500 that gives me 25 and 15 percent I write as as a decimal write at 0 0.15 times 500 that gives me 75. We'll now look at decrease so if I wanted to decrease 500 by 10 percent what would happen so we've got the 100 percent that's 10 percent so it's going down by 10 percent so we only have the remainder whatever it, there is remaining so how do i work it out since it's a decrease in going down by 10 percent that means 500 is going down by 50 that means whatever is remaining which is 450 so that is the new amount after the 10% decrease so it's the 90% that's remaining and if we look at a decrease of 500 by 5% that means we're taking away 25 from it so that is 475 so that 475 makes 95 percent whatever is left after the five percent and 
if we decrease 500 by 15 percent so that is going to be 425 so that makes 85 percent so work out what you're decreasing by and take it away from the full amount another way to work it out is to look at okay so we're decreasing by 10 percent so what is left from the 100 percent that's 90 percent so 90 percent i do as 90 over 100 or 0 0.9 times 500 which is the full amount that gives me 450 again or here if we take away 5% what we left with is 95% so I'll write that as 0 0.95 just like 95 pence in a pound times by 500 that gives me 475 and if I take away 15% I'm left with 85 so I write that as 0 0.85 times 500 that gives us again 425 so we can work out any new price given the decrease by just taking away the percentage of the decrease from the 100 percent turning it into a decimal and multiplying by the full amount now look at increase so what increase means is the amount will go up so if i want to increase 500 by 10 percent that means i've got the 100 percent already and i'm going to add 10 percent on top so one of these rectangles so that 10 percent that i add here i'm going to add it on top so this is already in place and there is an extra 10 percent on top and we said 10 percent was 50 so that means I'm going to add that 50 on top of the 500 so that will become now 550 so 500 was the original amount added the 10 percent which was 50 that made 550 and if i look at an increase of five percent that means i've got the 500 already and i'm adding five percent on top and we said five percent was equal to 25 so there is the 500 i'm going to add the 25 so that's going to make 525 and if i now look at 15 percent so i'm going to add 10 percent and the five percent so all together that was 75 so that's gonna be on top of the 500 to make 575 and if we look at the calculator method now pay attention that was a hundred percent now we added 10 percent so that became a hundred and ten percent a hundred and ten percent we say a hundred and ten divided by 100 or out of 100 so that gives us 1.1 so 1 is already a whole 1 and adding 10 percent which is 0 0.1 so that makes 1.1 times the 500 which is the 100 percent of the original amount that makes 550 and here we have 100 and we added 5 percent so that made 105 now 105 pence if you had that would be 1.05 or 105 divided by 100 now multiply that by the full amount which was 500 that gives us 525 which is the same answer that we had before and 100 add 15 that makes 115 percent so 115 pence out of 100 that would be 1.15 times the full amount 500 that gives us 575 which is what we worked out before as well